someone here. What's up? Oh. I hope there's nothing up there. I'm afraid to look. My head's still ringing from the bombs that destroyed our beautiful city of Procriana. Well, you're safe with me. I'm Slade. Cutter Slade. You can call me Rifa. It's a title more than a name, but I've worked all my life to obtain it. What's it mean? The Rifar is the head of the university. Procriana is Adelpha's cradle of knowledge, or was. I remember the dean of my college. He kept calling me a slacker because of a movie he saw. That old scarecrow made me hate school. No offense. None taken, but are you aware that we don't accept new students? Yeah, I figured as much. You gotta hang with Kureg. You two are cut from the same cloth. Kureg? <laughs> Old and pretentious. We disagree on everything. He's stuck in the past, but I am looking to the future. And what do you see? Science. Progress. Old scrolls won't lead us anywhere. We should write new ones and keep evolving. There is still so much knowledge to be discovered. What are you studying? My predecessor was on the verge of a significant breakthrough, but he got reverted on the moon of the attack. I have tried to pick up where he left off, but... Let me guess. You need more funding? I don't have any Zorkins to spare. No. It's Kurek. That old wrinkled morag. The bombs not only damaged his ears, but destroyed his reason. He collected my predecessor's notes and won't let me near them unless I pay an insane amount of Zorkins. He has no right! So it is about money. You don't strike me as a guy sitting on a fortune. I could trade the notes for other scrolls, like in any library. But the university has been completely ransacked by thieves. There is not a single scroll left. You're both adults. Have you tried talking to him? Have you? Gurek doesn't understand anything. He knows that my discoveries on Asios would make me famous. So he's blocking me until he comes up with a breakthrough of his own. What has he ever discovered, except the mold on his precious scrolls? Asiors. Sorry, I'm not from here, and the tourist kiosk was probably blown up with some other parts of this town. You haven't noticed them buzzing around? These little creatures secrete a corrosive acid, and I believe I found a way to control their swarms. Okay. You think you could turn these alien bees into a weapon? Now you got my attention. Asiors can melt anything, even metal. The Dolatai Guardians would have stood a better chance against the invaders if they had swarms of Asiors on their side. But I couldn't complete my research in time. What do you need to continue? There are Kalmar bushes planted around the university that temper the Asiors' aggressive behavior. You can always use them to protect yourself from Asiors. If you bring me Asior larvae, I can use my research to breed them here and grow them into strong, domesticated helpers. So they can help me fight? In theory, I can focus their attacks on a specific target, thanks to the pheromones secreted by their queen. I just need a little more time. How can I get the notes? Talk to Kurek. I abandoned the hope of having a reasonable chat with him. Screaming in his ear won't help either. Those notes will facilitate my work and help me to grow the larvae faster. You mentioned larvae. Yes. The more larvae you bring me, the more Asiors I could breed and control. Collect as many larvae as you can in the Asiors territory. Also, if you could get my predecessor's notes off Kureg, they would speed my progress and strengthen the swarm. Looks like the city took a big hit. After the Dolatar Guardian's ill-fated assault, the invaders struck suddenly. They took no prisoners, and reverted all the recreators they could identify. Most of the survivors abandoned the city after that. How did you survive? I was ready to revert, but the bombs spared me. I became dean of the university after my predecessor was reverted, along with our chief and many of my students who were running to their homes. But my home is where my research is, so I stayed here. Can you show me the queen? I don't have one. They're protected by their swarm. Too dangerous to capture. There has to be a way. I can see you share my vigor for science. I've been working on a theory. If you grab the pulp in the hive, the queen will chase you. Run back here before the pulp dries out 
and I should be able to isolate the queen at the university. Did you ever get a chance to test your theories? I feel like I'm gonna get stung. Look for the Kalmar bushes, like the ones around the university. In theory, they should protect you from a swarm of lethal lassiors. In theory, there was a time when scholars like you believed the Earth was flat. I don't know about the Earth, but Adelpha is flat. Oh boy. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. How am I supposed to keep an eye on you if you keep sneaking out? My father executed four prisoners today. Four. Just because they won't tell him how to access that damn island. He has no choice. What we need is on that island. I'm the negotiator on this mission, so let me negotiate. We don't have to torture them. I'm with you, but you don't understand. I promised your father that I would take care of you. Well, this is your chance to do it. Cover me while I establish contact.
me something with these visions. What? Are we gonna see mommy? Uh, let's talk a little bit first, baby girl. Just you and me. Come here. Whoa. You brought me a present? From another world? Oh well, technically another dimension. <sighs> sure. My friend Zoker must have stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong, baby girl. That's the amulet Lias was looking for when we met. Yes, I... someone on this channel please come in what the who are you you don't remember we're not exactly friends but i could be a valuable ally if you want one you're with the invaders invaders guess that's one way to put it yes i'm with the wfa but i disagree with our general's leadership and that's supposed to make me instantly trust you What's your name, soldier? How about I remain anonymous and offer you a much better weapon as a gesture of goodwill? If you're trying to buy me, add a foot massage. My boots are killing me. That's sarcasm you can't fake. Commander Cutter Slade. It's really you. In the flesh. Am I famous or something? Unbelievable. This is a game changer. I... I'll be in touch. Hey, hold on. If you know me, you might know my daughter. Her name's Camilla. Tell her I'm coming home soon. I'm... Sorry, I can't get involved in your family affairs. Find the gear at the coordinates I'm sending you. I deactivated the security system so you can enter the facility, but be quick. I don't know how long it will last. Signing off. But fine, I'll do it. At least tell me how Camilla's doing. Hello? How hard is it to answer a simple question? again. some ancient mausoleum. Let me try to describe it to you. I see where you are. One of the essence shrines. You're inside it? Yup. Praise the yods. We knew essence shrines were important, but never found a way to enter them. I can't wait to tell Emerheed about it. it. Looks like the ancients left us a treat. Sweet. There are more essence shrines throughout Adelpha. If you unlock this one, I bet you could unlock them all. Talk to Emerheed at the Dolotai camp if you want to know more. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Lias. Slate out.
coming for me. Weapon module, nice. Too late. Go out. You hear me? The general's on his way. I'm not going anywhere. Slade out. Slade? I know you. You're the problem. You can't be real. I I saw you die. Well, you know the saying. What doesn't kill you makes you... used to leave you enough time to finish your punch. Mr. Slade, how do you plead? Not guilty. Everyone but me was lost in action. It's not my fault. But it was your mission to keep them alive. Instead, you abandoned them and only secured transport for yourself. There was no one left to save except you guys, on Earth. And that's exactly what I did. The jury has found you guilty of all charges. The sentence is death by firing squad. General, take the deserter to execution. You're making a terrible mistake. I saved all of you! Raise weapons. Aim. You can't even pull the trigger yourself. You're a coward, Jack. For Marion. Fire! That was... Holy shit. Jack Boring.
you and I have met before. I heard you have some research on nasty little creatures called Asiors. Don't put them in your soup! Asiors are deadly, you fool! Read my lips. Research. Research, yes! I have highly detailed notes on Asiors from the former Refar. Wait, is the new Refar sending you? Refar, you say? Huh. Never heard the name. It's not a name, it's a title. The head of the University of Procreana. Can I have a look at those notes? Bring me scrolls that belong to the Dano Library. For each scroll, I will exchange one page of Asior's research. But whatever you do, do not share them with Reform. <laughs> of course not. Personal use only. Look, an artifact was uncovered at the bottom of a lake in Emiya. You may be the only Talan alive to know what it is. I need your help. Can you come to Amiya with me? What's the secret code? A code? Why did I think this would be easy? If you don't know the code, I have nothing to say to you. If you do, speak now, but be aware that there won't be any second chance. The wrong password will seal my lips forever. <sighs> can I get a hint? No, I can't sprint. I'm so old that I can barely walk. But I'll give you a hint. You can find the secret code in an ancient scroll titled The Lost Art of Asking Things Politely. Can you come to Emiya with me, please? Goodbye. Lead the way. Here we are. The relic is right there. Doc, anything new? Ulukai, you're back! By the yards, this is fascinating. Easy now. <laughs> Relax, the scholar's with me. It can't be. This shouldn't be here. I knew it. Is this thing going to explode? No, it's not mold. These are just plants covering the surface of the egg. Did you say egg? What kind of monster is in there? Mother, it's it's not a mother, it's a baby! The first born Galenta in thousands of cycles. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a baby! Come on, baby critter. Shed that shell already. I control. Do you know anything about Kizar? The Amayel and the females are the highest caste in Talalan society. They live in Kizar, an island from where they used to rule and protect the children. They used to. How about now? Kizar is completely isolated from the rest of Adelpha, and the Amayel don't communicate with our leaders anymore. The Shamases are the only males allowed in the city outside of the August Salt celebration, but even a Shamas must be summoned by the Amayel before he can visit. Since the spear arose, no one gets in or out of Kizar. What can you tell me about Emiya? Emiya was built around Gansar's remarkable trees over the course of thousands of moons. Our main source of income is the harvest of delicious morag fruits. Who's important around here? Our current chief, Hatso, and our resident Shamas, Nemet, are both ground citizens and the most respected Talans in the village. What's a Daoka? They're circular portals that connect different locations. We Talans have built our villages around them. Many believe that the Daoka were left behind by the ancients who built them using technology we don't have access to. A Daoka can be turned off if you remove its energy core. This is what the invaders did. See you around. Come back anytime. I can't wait to write this in a scroll. I can't... Can you tell me more about Galenta? No Talon has ever seen one. The oldest scrolls merely repeat stories found in the ancient temples, and they are quite abstract. 
I'm so excited to document the whole incubation process. Good. Excitement keeps us young and curious. How long will it take for the egg to hatch? The process started as soon as the egg entered our warm temperature, but it's not warm enough for it to proceed. It needs outside help. Do you know any recreators? Most recreators have been reverted by the invaders. Their alliance with the Dolatai Guardians is the reason why Procreana is almost abandoned today. A couple of them might have survived, but don't expect them to brag about their craft. <laughs> so what? Should I sit on it for a few weeks? We need to quickly raise its internal temperature. Find some covers, like warm blankets that retain heat. Hurry, or we could lose the Dalenta forever. Is that all? We also need Z-Dog sap. It heats up quickly under the sun. The covers and the sap will combine to form a warm cocoon to incubate the egg. I don't want to keep you. Hatso. That's right. I am the ch That's all for Hmm. Not sure how this Z-Dog goo can help, but hey, at least I did my part of the job. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk! What's so special about this place? You don't smell it? Emir's delightful fragrance. It's famous throughout Adelpha. This land enchants the senses. We also have the sweet morag fruit, and an even sweeter sense of diplomacy, no matter how bitter the circumstances. A Galenta, baby. And loads of goo, probably. A Galenta? Like the flying worm in the children's story scrolls? This is impossible. This is stupid! Hold on. A Galenta could be a major asset against the... Enough, stranger! I won't tolerate these crazy ramblings! Morag fruit. They taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The Morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Talans from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of the tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. What's Moore's problem? Moore is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming Chief. But treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain downbringing to lead. Downbringing? You mean upbringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people 
rude people. One cannot learn class, especially someone like Moore. Could you spare some blankets for the egg? Blankets? You're right, stranger. We need covers to hide that thing from view. You should talk to Zotil and see what he has in stock. Always a pleasure to see you leave. Uh, we haven't met yet. I am Cutter Slade, and you are? You don't know? I am Zotil, the most spectacular weaver in all of Emia. And most humble. Love the shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, thanks. It's a limited edition. Let me know if you're willing to sell it to me. I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kurek. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procriana. You happen to have any scrolls from there? Uh, yes. Actually, I do have a scroll. Weavers of Legend. Why I'm not in it, Yod only knows. Can I give it back to him? Fine. Here. I know it's not exactly the season, but I'm looking for a blanket. It's gotta be thick and warm and large. Really large. Got anything like that? I don't. But if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. Great. I'll take five large blankets. I'll pick them up later. Not so fast, Urukai. We must discuss colors, patterns, trims. Just choose the ones you like, okay? One more thing, Cutter. To weave your blankets, I need certain materials, and... I can't leave the shop right now. What do you need? If we want these blankets to be extra warm, the fibers of the Kolvar plant would be perfect. It grows close to the hollow tree, okay? Jeez, can you get a little more specific? How do I find this place? Excuse me, can we adjust the attitude? If you walk west from Emiya, you can't miss it. It's a massive hollow tree. The hollow tree. Get me? Yeah, that's a huge help. Thanks. Any reason you don't want to go? It's not the safest of trees. It's haunted because of the terrible, long-forgotten rituals that took place inside of it. And it's also infested with deadly flying Hamini. Not my scene. How will I recognize the Kovar plant? You can't miss it. It's the only plant that grows in the hollow tree. So, how many plants do you need? To make a blanket? A lot. Get to it. More kovar, please. Cam and I are bad news? Ah, uh, yeah. Hello? If you enter their territory, they swoop down and tear you apart. I could have a Zan escort me, but he stinks of meat, and his fashion sense is hideous. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to risk my life fighting a flock of killer birds to get you the plants you'll turn into a bunch of blankets? This at least gets me a discount, right? I'll give you the blankets for free. Just bring me a few extra plants for the winter. Deal. And consider adding your flamboyant shirt to the deal? No deal, man. It's the only one I have. Do you have enough Kovar plants to weave the blankets? I don't, but if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. All right, I'll get going then. You go, I'll focus on my masterpiece. Put your next delivery on the table over there. As long as the Kovars keep flowing, Zotil will keep sewing. And I still want that shirt. Dolotai Guardian traveled all the way to Emiya, hoping she could get your attention, but you missed her. She is back at the Dolotai camp now. Can you visit her when you have the time? Her name is Emmerheat. Sure. Please mark the spot on my map so I won't forget. Thank you. It would mean the world to her. <laughs> Ulukai, watch out! 
You're approaching a Gork eruption. Do you see it? A, a what now? You don't get these kind of calls sitting behind a desk, I'm telling you. Gork has been erupting from the depths of Adelpha. It started with the invasion. Yon saw it as some kind of natural defense mechanism triggered by the planet to fight our enemies. But Gork can infect animals and turn them berserk. So please be careful. Okay, I'll put a Gork in that. Gork, let's lay it out. that after our urgent matter. I'll be discreet so the kid doesn't hear us. He's way too anxious around the egg, and I don't want him to freak out. So, what's so urgent? A Galenta mother uses her trunk to eat the parasites that develop on the surface of her egg. This phenomenon seems to occur after the shell reaches a certain temperature and releases a very specific type of... Too many details. All you have to know is the egg has parasites, and we have no trunk to take care of them. Correct. I got a scroll for you. Ah, uh, the quest to rebuild the library starts with a single scroll. As I promised you, here is a page of SCR's research. Now, find more scrolls. So these bubbles are parasites. I see. Pay attention! I said parasites! If we don't do anything, these filthy organisms will breach the egg before it's time. The baby Galanta won't survive a premature birth. So what can we do about it? <laughs> Your tongue is not long enough, but I appreciate the gesture. Tonha! Tonha could help us, yes! And I've said, time is of the essence. You can ask Doc where you can find some Tonha, but do not tell him why. A kid already makes me nervous as it is. Do what I say, now! How many Tonhas do you need? Don't be so cheap. One is not enough. As a matter of fact, too few of them would only slow down the propagation, but not stop it. We need a whole pack of Twanhas to save the egg. Where can I find a Twanha? They don't sell Twanhas in Procreana. Ask around! Okay. See you later, then. Don't you curse at me! Can you bridge? I got yo.
Hey, Doc. How's the egg? Look, do you see those strange bubbles on it? I can't figure out what they are. You know where I can buy a Twanha? There are no Twanhas in Amiya. We wouldn't interfere with the sweet smell of the village. That's his orders. You should ask more about that. His network of merchants is larger than mine. But why would you need Twanhas? Is there a problem with the egg? A problem? <laughs> what problem? Ah, it's all good. Trust me. Come see me anytime. Hey there, uh, can we talk? Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. Have you come to register? Register? For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ulakai, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you. <laughs> your hands are perfect for sewing tunics and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go. We do real work in the treetops. Do any Tuan Ha merchants? I need to buy some. Then you are up for quite a journey. There are no Tuan Ha's in Amir, or anywhere close for that matter. So where can I strike a deal then? Your best chance is the village of Bida. Kartak is breeding exceptional Tuan Ha's there. Heard you can even ride some of them. It sounds quite sick. Kartak from Bida. Understood. Tell Kartak that more sent you. you get the best price. Him and me go way back. <laughs> I remember once we had so much land to give her that. Hmm. Scrap what I just said. Don't tell Kotak anything. Don't finish my name at all. Um, okay. Thanks anyway. I just wonder what kind of job would require big, I mean, strong fingers like yours. I guess it's your first time in a meal. On these trees, we cultivate the most delicious moor rags on a delta. My name is Moore. I am the Grand Foreman of the Harvester Union. Oh, really? Grand Foreman? Sounds important. Harvesters are more than simple farmers. The best Morags grow close to the moons, on the tops of the highest trees. Very dangerous to gather. Only young, vigorous Talans can reach them. In my early moons, I would dance across the branches without fear. But now, the heights make me dizzy. So I took on new responsibilities. So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society. Just like I did. Thanks, Moore. See you around. Tell Doc you can come back when he runs out of Zorkins. Or Dignity. Whichever comes first. Nicer things. Oh, that's not good.
big and fluffy. Cool. Coming with me, plant. Got a lot of water, no? Okay, having trouble activating Beta's Master Daoka? We need it up and running as soon as possible. I'm marking a location on your map. You can see the outpost from the village. The core has to be stashed there. I trust your instincts, Lias. I'll check it out. Cutter Slade. Good for you. And you are? Oh, I, I actually didn't understand what you just told me. I'm a merchant. We're supposed to be polite with the clients. Slade is my name. Very nice. I'm Kartak. I raise and sell Twanhas. Moore sent me to buy some Twanhas. That tall Zord owes me a brand new Nikon. That's gonna cost you. Look, the animals aren't even for him. I say you throw me your best price, and I'll talk to Moore about his debt. How about that? You're lucky that the Tuan Ha business is slow. Take them, but don't you dare come back without a Nikon, or you'll get the hot season treatment. Follow you off road. Return to park. Assessing. Alien specimen 
stopped. Return to park. Assessing. Alien specimen won't follow you off-road. Return to park. What, you're not gonna follow me? Gotta stay on the road, is that it? Not gonna follow me? Gotta stay on the road, is that it? Assessing. Alien specimen won't follow you off road. Return to car. I hope it's gonna work. Ulukai! Look! Kurig was right! You made it! Wow. Oh, someone's hungry. It smells like... A filthy Twanha in my beautiful village? They must have lost their mind! Meals on the house, Twanaz.
Woohoo! That should be a theme park ride. That's what I'm talking about. calls the shots around here. I am Hiram, Chief of Beda. 
But you got the wrong information, stranger. We don't drink Lampe in shots. Lampe is best served in a pint, cold as the Palana snow. Who are you? I'm Cutter Slade. I was told that your village needs help. How are you guys holding up? A cold drink of Lampe smooths away the rough edges. Things could be worse, things could be better. Spoken like a true politician. What's the village of Bida famous for? What planet did you fall from? Lampe, of course. We have pretty decent Tuan Ha's, too, but they don't drive Bida's economy. How come the other villages don't produce Lampe? Our water is exceptional. You can't make Lampe without exceptional water. Are you guys also selling water? Selling water? You mean in, in a moor? Who would be stupid enough to buy bottled water? You got a point there. But don't discard the idea just yet. It's a potential gold mine. Where are the invaders? Outside town. Drilling stations. So the village is safe? Hardly. All the drilling brings the Garondars to the surface, towards us. Yuck damn creatures never used to roam these lands. Good thing that the village is preserved for some reason. You know why? I'm the mouth that sells, not the brain that overthinks what it cannot influence. Mirko tried to explain it to me over a pint of lampe last night. But hey, I don't think at night. I party. I'm gonna shut down these drilling stations. Any idea of what they're drilling for? If I had ideas yesterday, they're gone today. That's the magic of Lampe at play. I can't get a read on you, Chief. You want me to help your village or what? Yes, please help us end the drilling and end the terror of the Garondars, so we can start shipping Lampe everywhere again. What's a Garondar? A devouring beast living below us. I figured that much. Any other details you want to share, Chief? Watch your step. When a Garondar surfaces, Bond bars are eaten and talons revert. About bond bars. Look, I am in the process of rejuvenating my essence, and words use energy. Talk to Ozak about bond bars. He's not called a bond bar board because of his Tuan Ha. So, seriously, what is Lampe? Lampe is the finest drink in Adelpha. It's the reason I wake up every afternoon. So that makes you an afternoon only chief? Part time job? Are you a little wasted right now? No, I am the chief after all. But tonight I will drink and sing. Lampe makes you sing better than the Al Mayel and sleep sounder than a reverted Talan. You want some? We have discounts for new customers. Are you a chief or a salesman? My role is to sell more Lampe than I consume. Bida's economy depends on it. I'm looking to acquire a shipment of Lampe. Lampe, good. Can you help me? I don't deal with the Zorkins, I'm the marketing guy. Talk to Marzo if you want to make a purchase. Later, Chief. Farewell. Cowboy. Not sure what a cow is, mister, but I know bombars, and I'm a bombar boy. Ozak is my name. Hey, Ozak. I'm Cutter Slade. Bye, Ozak. Howdy, Ozak. How the... What do you know about Garondars? I know. I hate those sons of Zorts. They are my nemesis. Giant worms that live in the ground and gobbled up my fellow bombar boys like they were candy. They even tried to eat Scoot. But they spit him back out. No one likes the taste of Tuan Ha's. What are you up to? I'm pushing a herd of bombars that way. Then later, I'll push it back this way. Circle of life. This particular herd of bombars are the most stubborn creatures I ever met. After Scoot. Are you scared of the invaders? Can't be scared of what I've never seen. Lampe put me to sleep one night. They came in, broke the Dauka, and they were out when I woke up. You ever get a good look at the drilling stations? Never gone near them. Too far. My place is here with the bombars. 
Anyway, Mirko at the brewery, he said the Twanhas can't stomach long distance trips because, well, there is a reason that I forgot. It's better than most places, I guess, but I lost a lot of friends recently to the Garandars. You got a problem with your herd? You can call it a communication breakdown. I tell Scoot what to do, and then Scoot tells the Bombars. Otherwise, they don't listen to me. How hard can it be? They're just... Bombars. It's always a hustle to herd them back to the pen. Scoot is a good assistant, but I wouldn't say no to a couple of helping hands like yours. Especially with the Garandars lurking on my herd. Less Bombars outside of the pen means less Garandars attacking our perimeter. All right. All I have to do is lead them back to the pen, then? It ain't that easy, mister. You'll see. Bye, Ozak. You there? I hear you. Is everything all right? You ever had to herd bond bars? <laughs> Females do not concern themselves with the herding of bond bars. They are too busy running the planet. Figured as much. My former navy unit could see me now. They'd have a good laugh. As long as the bond bars stay safe in their pen, the Garondars won't attack. It's important work, Ulukai. Adding this to my resume then. Talk later, Lias. Back in the pen. Cutter, this whole Bombar boy thing is exhausting. Phew, I got the Bombars in the pen. You're good at this. Can you ride a Twan huh? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if I can. I don't want to. Okay. For a second there, I thought you'd make a great Bombar boy. Yeah, I'd rather eat my gun, but thanks, pal. Nothing wrong with eating your gun, buddy, but it might hurt on the way out. Bombar boys don't carry weapons, though, so heck. Even eating it, you'd still qualify for the job. So long, cowboy. Don't know what that is, but y'all bless you, buddy. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess my next word should be welcome to Beda. Name's Marzo. 
You here to drink our planet-renowned lampe? <sighs> Shouldn't drink when I'm on the job. Kicking invader ass takes a bit of focus. Whoa, invader ass, okay. Why'd you come here to kick that? Maybe you want to build your strength first. Heard some bond bars or whatever. Save us from extinction. That's what your yards told me to do. So, I'm guessing that means getting rid of the invaders. One bullet at a time. And that's what I got. Bullets and time. If you're here to start a crusade, friend, I won't stop you. Just keep my boy Miracle out of it. He'd be the first one to sign up. But uh, I need him here. How are you dealing with the invaders? Their damn drilling stations are agitating the Garandars. That's a big problem. Hard to get my shipments when the delivery people keep getting eaten or smashed up. I have to keep up with my delivery schedule, but it's getting harder and harder. Tell me about Mirko. My son. Super smart. But he has to work a little bit more on his enthusiasm for the family business. I need that boy here. He wants to study, but there's no school in Beta. What's a bond bar? It's this village's main source of meat and a near-endangered species with those Garandars around. You should talk to Ozak. He's the last Bombard boy left in Beta. All the others are marinating in some Garandars' belly. You don't have much love for the Garandars, huh? You didn't run into any of those goddamn worms on your way here? Damn. Maybe they don't like you. I should hire you to escort my next shipment. Just how dangerous are they? Compared to what? The Nekar Plague? Playing with Bugats around your crotch? There's Dangerous as danger can be, you fool. Garandars are the type of beast you want to keep underground. But those drilling stations make them dizzy, and now they're coming up to the surface eating bond bars, talons, and whatever else they can stuff down their gullets. You're tough. I like that. I got one batch ready now. Can you help escort it to Sapa? A fella named Zala boarded these barrels of Lampe hundreds of cycles ago, but I can't find anyone brave enough to make the delivery. You got me a brave. I'm your man. Okay, perfect then. Are you ready to go? Yard damn bond bars! Always in the way! Come on now! Move away! Scoot, I said! Hey there! You talking to my Juan, huh? No, look! No, I... Look, Kozak! I have an urgent delivery to make! Can you clear the way? I'm trying! but something's getting these bombards real agitated. I can't help you there. It's your job, not mine. Go on. You heard the Talan. Let's move this way. Let the left pay pass. Come on. Not that way. This way. Don't turn around now. Listen to me. Oh, I don't have all moves. Move out of the way. Dude, can you at least do something to help me here? Ah! Stopping! Make it stop now! I, I can't! That's what bombards do! How would you ask a... Oh, oh no! Garandar! Is... is it gone? Hey, Marzo. About that convoy. You had one job. Protect the convoy, protect the lampe. What the sort happened? The giant worm happened. What am I supposed to do? Have you seen the size of that thing? I don't know what you did, but you managed to attract the Alpha Garandar. It's never been seen around these parts before. Now I gotta start the brewing process from scratch. God damn! I messed up the shipment. I get it. Let me help in some other way. I won't mop the floor or clean the toilets, but... I already got my son going now. Don't, 
need you messing up his routine. You can help me gather a few ingredients for the next batch. Do that, and we're square. Right. Tell me what you need. Mirko has the list. Talk to him, and he'll give you the details. But bring every ingredient straight to me. We'll probably use it for some science experiment. I can't afford that. Tell me about Zalab. He's the Shamaz of Sapa. Quite a character. He's got a little group called the Ventilope Club. I hope Zalab understands the delays and still pay the whole Zorkin's amount. With the current economy, I can't offer a discount. Hey, at least no one got hurt. Oh, I got hurt, friend. That was my biggest shipment this cycle, and the damn Alpha Garandar drank it all! Uh, she didn't even drink it. She spit everything out. And that's the saddest part. The Alpha Garandar, as you call it, ate a crazy amount of bomb bars. Ozak must be mad as hell. We both lost a fortune in that accident. I heard Ozak's Twanha took a hike, too. Poor bomb bar boy. See you next moon. Hey, kid. Uh, newsflash. I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. But if you see me as a kid, you probably have a problem with your eyes. Let's test your ears now. The name's Mirko. So, what's my name? Um, Mirko? Bingo! It's just the eyes, then. Now, on with the mandatory speech. Welcome to the brewery. What brings you to Beta? Do you know an old Talan named Kureg? I remember him. He used to work at the Dano Library in Progriana. He's still there. He's got plans to rebuild the Dano Library, but he's missing a lot of scrolls. Oh, wow! Really? I actually have one of his scrolls. Fay Fun Homemade Fireworks Explained. Ooh, the late fees on this must be killer. Can you give this back to him? Don't tell him I did, kid. What are the invaders drilling for? Well, I have a theory, but it's too dangerous for me to even go near the drilling stations to confirm it, so, you know, maybe we'll just never know because this village isn't interested in knowledge, it's interested in Lampe. Do you know what Lampe does to your brain? It's like I'm helping my dad brew an anti-knowledge potion. Say I would be interested in verifying your theory. Should I put my ass on the line and go out there? Your ass? Why? No, I don't want you to put your ass anywhere. But if you're half as curious as I am, you could look inside one of their drill pits and maybe bring me whatever you find? And why would I do that? My theory, dude. I'm smart. I want to do something with my life, but I can't do much with this broom in my hand. If you help me prove it, I promise you'll have something to use against the invaders. You're a fighter. I can tell. So, what's your theory? I don't want to blow your mind quite yet. If you find anything interesting in the drill pits, I would be thrilled to examine it. It's up to you. What do you know about Garandars? Well, there's the obvious. Huge worms. Extremely dangerous, too. But... And the less obvious part, please. They're like me. They're misunderstood. They're not coming to the surface to eat us. They're just trying to get away from the underground drilling. It's hurting their little worm ears. Well, huge worm ears. Actually, I'm not sure how big their ears are. They haven't attacked the village? No, and I found out why. There's a very small life form in our water supply that's toxic to Garon bars, but harmless to you or me. Well, I don't know about you. We should test that later. How did you find that out? Dude, I told you. I'm the only Talan in beat up besides Storga who went to Procreon University. I've got a brain. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. <laughs> I only like hockey when I'm the smartest guy in the room. Not liking it now. You're gonna use the Daoka? Now that it's back on? The university is closed. Half of the Dano library is burnt to cinders. Where am I gonna go? Besides, my father wants me to waste my life away in this boring brewery. I told your dad I'd help with Lampe ingredients. Do you have some kind of list for me? Hmm, let me see. What are we missing? We are running out of Morax. The Tvonha drool levels are pretty low. And we could use more pistols? Where can I find pistols? You can't miss them. Go to the large root on the hill. You have to open its flowers and catch the pistols inside real quick before they close again. This is new. I have to ask about the Tvonha drool. 
Really? It's the sticky stuff that drips from the dumb animal's mouth. Mm, it's more about how to collect it. <laughs> it's not like you have to use your bare hands. Oh, good. You know, for a second there, I thought... <laughs> use these containers instead. Attach them to the mouth of the Tvonha and don't come back until it's completely full. Kartak can help you with that. What can you tell me about the invaders? Well, they don't mess with our village, which is plus. I like being alive and all. But they want something underneath us, in the ground, and their drillings messing up the Garandar's orientation. Garandars around Beta are the opposite of a plus. Where can I find more eggs? You can only find more eggs in the village of Emiya. It's a special fruit. Adds a touch of luxury to an otherwise cheap beverage. I found the last recreator. Not the bravest guy, but he's got skills. What? That's amazing! Does he need an assistant? I don't know. Marso needs you here, right? Yeah, but I mean... Uh, forget it. Look, when everything's said and done, I'm sure Nurkan will be delighted to have a brain like yours around his workshop. It's just not the right time. Uh, you sound like my dad. The son of a brewer becomes a brewer. Who will teach your son to become a brewer? Blah, blah, blah. I heard it a thousand times. What are you up to? Well, you see, I should be at Procreana University right now, studying scrolls, living that canoe life. You know how it goes. But the invaders dropped bombs on my campus, so I'm here, sweeping floors for my dad. That's what you call a major bummer. See you, Mirko. You know where to f- Kota Yosiat Mar.